So after a bit of a break, we're going to jump back into Peter Sewell's evidence to the Post Office Rise and IT inquiry. So Peter Sewell was the security operations manager at Fujitsu and was in charge of a team that was tasked with writing witness statements for both criminal and civil cases um, that the post office were getting involved in. And he said he was unaware of a known issue that was raised at the time of Horizon losing transactions, essentially, where there were either conflicts in processes or a message failed to write and wasn't queued, so therefore never subsequently written. And an identical shortfall was created on the system, and there were, there were at least, by 2008, three independent uh, peaks or incidents that were recorded in Fujitsu's system detailing this issue at different branches. But the KEL, the known error log entry for this issue in Horizon, shows that Fujitsu suggested that they weren't going to fix it in the Horizon code because the issue was relatively rare. Let's jump into the inquiry. Can we please look at FUJ00155232, please? Uh, this is an email slightly before you've arranged that meeting, mm -hmm. and you it's a response to Gareth Jenkins, and you say as follows, Gareth, when you say interfere, are transactions actually lost when the end of day is run? Can you assist us with any information you received in that respect? Do you recall this conversation? No. No. I just don't recall it. So it would be interesting to find out what the nature of that interference was, because obviously if it's losing transactions, then that was would be a big problem in terms of the accuracy of the accounting records produced by Horizon. Do you remember receiving an answer? No, don't recall it at all. No. I mean, you do seem there to be sufficiently involved that you are... I think I was with uh, Craig Park, yeah. Yes, OK. Can we please look at FUJ00155231, please? Thank you. An email from Penny Thomas to Gareth Jenkins uh, and others, including yourself. Uh, it says, Hi all, Pete has asked me to send a note uh, to set up a meeting uh, to discuss this issue. And then you ask if everybody can make the 14th of August and, and she attaches Peaks and Kells. So the Peak is the incident log and the, no the Kell is the known error log. Were those things that you were familiar with at that time? I know what they were, yes. 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 So she's sending around, effectively, information to be discussed at a meeting. Yeah, these are the three technical people that would have had real relevant input into this. Yes. Thank you. If we look over to page four, please, that's the first of the peaks that she has attached. It's, again, a, a peak that we've seen quite a lot of over the past couple of days. It's PC015376, and it begins on the 20th of December 2007. Uh, so by the time of this uh, discussion in, uh, I think we're in August now, August 2008, so by August it had been known for eight months, this particular issue. Yep. Is that right? Uh, reading this, yes. 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 Um, presumably prosecutions had been going on during this period and other court cases? I, I don't recall, not sure. Do you recall, for example, a pause in 2007 to August 2008 following this issue? Yes. You recall a, a pause in 2007, or do you recall a pause later? I recall there was a pause while yes. this was checked out. And that pause presumably followed the August meeting rather than I think, prior to the I August so, meeting, yes. because you weren't aware of it before I think so. this period. Yes. Um, so are, are we to understand that after discovery, 20th of December 2007, uh, up until the date of this meeting, there hadn't been, from your team at least, any significant impact on the work that was being... I don't know whether out. things were being checked at that time or not. I, I don't recall. But as manager of the team, do you recall any significant change to your practices between December 2007 and the date of the meeting in August 2008? I, I believe the error on Craig Park was 2007. Yes. The error was in 2007. You are manager of a team that provides, for example, witness statements and prosecutions. Mm -hmm. Do you recall from December 2007 up until the date of this meeting in August 2008 any significant activity in relation to this issue? I don't recall. I don't recall. You don't recall or, or you don't believe there was any? I don't remember. I don't remember. 
I mean, it's interesting because if it's an issue significant enough to kind of have a pause in prosecutions, you would think it would be quite a big thing at the company, although understandably you may not remember now. If, it, if we turn over the page to page six, please. I, I won't spend much time on this peak because we have, as I said, um, seen it a number of times here, but I can just summarise it for you. The middle of this page gives an indication of the issue. It says, the messages that should have been, have posted the £465.73 gain in stock unit at BM to local suspense failed to be written. Consequently, when local suspense was cleared, written off to profit and loss in this case, the £465.73 wasn't taken into account. And this resulted in the minus £463.73 trading position seen on the branch trading statement. So that would be a shortfall in Horizon then. And it looks like a transaction that's failed to be written. So that would imply, I know people have asked about this before, that either there isn't a queuing system in place as if there's an issue writing a transaction or that the queuing system is failing under certain circumstances. Uh, so it seems as though the issue is that the sub-postmaster's branch trading statement would show a discrepancy as a result of this error. Yeah, it was suggested, yes. 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 If we go over the page, please, to page 7, we've heard from Gerald Barnes. There's an entry here that we, again, as I say, have heard quite a lot about, and he says as follows. He says, the fact that the EPOS code is not resilient to errors is endemic. Uh, there seems little point fixing it uh, in this one particular case because there'll be many others to catch you out. For example, when I tried to balance with cabs process running, I found that declaring cash failed uh, with the same sort of error message. Uh, so the issue being here that there would be a discrepancy uh, and it wouldn't be showing as an error to the sub postmaster. Is that what you understood the issue to be? I don't understand this. This is Gerald Barnes. Yes. He's one of the technical guys in the, it was in the team of SSC. And he has summarised the issue in lay terms as effectively an error that is silent to the postmaster. Is that something that you were aware of, that this issue no. that caused a discrepancy wouldn't be seen, wouldn't be known to the sub-postmaster? I, I wouldn't know. I don't know. You, you wouldn't know? I don't know whether the postmaster was aware of this. Was that not something that was explained to you at the time? Explained to me? Yes, it wasn't explained to you. I don't know, I don't recall it. You don't recall? No. Um, I mean, something that affected the balancing of a sub-postmaster, the branch trading statement, the statement that they would see that would show a discrepancy. Yes. Is that not something that would be of concern to you? Um, if I was involved at this level, yes, I guess so, but I wasn't. But you were the manager of a team that well, provided evidence in yeah, prosecution of the postmasters. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I recall this at all. If you manage the team that's providing witness statements in these cases, you obviously you wouldn't expect him to have the technical expertise and knowledge to be able to explain it in detail, but you'd think he'd have to be aware of the possible consequences for his team and the statements being written by it of potential balancing issues with Horizon. If they're issuing statements for prosecutions or in civil cases where they're actually pursuing people on the basis of horizon shortfalls it would seem like a very critical point to be aware of i mean not resilient to errors um it suggests that in fact this is just an example of a problem that the underlying code could cause rather than uh, the real problem being the epos code itself is that something that was ever discussed with you? No, no. Too, too detailed for me. I mean, during phase two of this inquiry, we heard quite a lot about the EPOS code. We heard about whack-a-mole type problems where something would be fixed, something else would crop up. You were at ICL at the time of the rollout. Was that a kind of issue that you knew anything about? No. That nobody discussed with you at the time? No. Can we please turn to page 11? This is the known error log. If we could scroll down and over to the next page, please. We see the solution being explained. It says, no fix planned for Horizon, given the relative rarity of the problem. 
However, should the problem start occurring more often, then the need for a fix should be reviewed. Add any cases to the list below. And then we can see a list of cases. So there we have three, by that time, peaks that addressed, so three recorded incidents that were sufficiently serious enough to result in an error log. Yes. 12th of December 2007, 5th of March 2008, 27th of December 2007. Over to the next page, please, we have... Uh, and can I just be clear, those were just the reported errors that were sufficient to make it into an error log. Is that... Do you understand peaks to, to be something... No, uh, you're right. They're, yes. they're the, the, yes, they're the logs. Um, over the next page is another peak. So this one we're looking at PC0152421. And perhaps we could go over to page 15. Here we have Anne Chambers reporting on the 21st of December 2007. And the second entry in, in her entry says as follows. The stock unit uh, was being balanced at 7pm at night. And at the point where the stock unit gain should have been written to local suspense, there was some contention with the end-of-day process, uh, which were running in the background, and the message, messages were not written. She says... At the branch, the loss for TP8 uh, was £465.73 bigger than it should have been. Uh, the loss, £1,083.76, was written off to profit and loss. Uh, as I understand it, this means the branch is not personally out of pocket uh, and there's no need to attempt to correct anything at the branch. Uh, the branch trading statement shows a trading position of minus £465.73. pence. Surely if that's not corrected, then that loss kind of just carries forward. And even though they're saying that the branch isn't out of pocket at this point, if something's showing a negative figure, surely that's showing that there's the discrepancy with Horizon is showing that it is out pocket even though it isn't out of pocket 